So as we had uh, started yesterday, I just discussed the summary with you all about the chapter, the rat trap. And uh, so today we'll just uh, read it together thoroughly, nicely. Okay, so all of you, please look at the screen. And uh, if you want to read from your book also, there it is, no problem at all. Now, as you know, the rat trap, what is it the story about? It's a story about a tramp, a vagabond, a poor peddler who doesn't have a place to stay. He does not have a good life, does not have a regular source of income. And what does he do for a living? He makes rat traps. So uh, sometimes he buys the material, but uh, many times he has stolen the material. And he keeps on walking along the highway, expect, you know, to find a, a place to live, to seek some kind of shelter. And so his whole day is there just to keep himself alive. So it's a big struggle that he faces every day, right? So he makes rat traps. He thinks the world is also a rat trap. How is it that with all the luxuries and the goods and all the things that we have, once we start chasing them, we get caught in it and we are stuck in the rat trap, okay? Right, now let's start here and we'll discuss it as we read on. Once upon a time, there was a man who went around selling small rat traps of wire. This story, the setting is in Sweden. And so we see the background, the economy, the life, all that it is reflected here. And it is you know, written in the form of a fairy tale, like stories that we have, like once upon a time, and then they lived happily ever after. So those kinds of fairy tales that you have read. So this is there, it is written in that kind of a manner. So once upon a time, there was a man who went around selling small rat traps of wire. He made them himself at odd moments from the material he got by begging in the stores or at the big farms. But even so, the business was not especially profitable. So he had to resort to both begging and petty thievery to keep body and soul together. Even so, his clothes were in rags, his cheeks were sunken and hunger gleamed in his eyes. So he was there. What about the peddler? What about the rat trap maker? Yes, yeah, what did he do? He made rat traps. Where did he get the material from? By begging from the stores or from the big farms where, you know, waste wires or all these things would be lying and he would make rat traps out of them. But it naturally, it was not a very profitable business and he had to, you know, struggle hard to keep himself alive. And how would he do that? Yes, so he made a rat trap. Sometimes he was able to sell them. But once again, he also resorted to petty thievery. So stealing things was not uncommon to him. It was, they're quite, you know, like a part of his life. Why did he do that? To keep himself alive. What else did he do? He made rat traps. Even so, his clothes were in rags. Naturally, he was not uh, very well off. His cheeks were sunken, sunken and hunger gleamed in his eyes. So he had this uh, appearance of someone who's very weak and malnourished, right? Not healthy, not nourished. So his body was like that. And even his clothes was like that torn and in rags. No one can imagine how sad and monotonous life can appear to such a vagabond who plods along the road. Plods, walk slowly. Vagabond, a person does not have a fixed place of residence, right? So moving from one place to another. Left to his own meditation. So we can't imagine how difficult the life of the peddler is, how difficult the life of the rat trap seller is. But one day this man had fallen into a line of thought which really seemed to him entertaining. He had naturally been thinking of his traps when suddenly he was struck by the idea that the whole world about him, the whole world with its land and seas, its cities and villages was nothing but a big rat trap. So he was there as always walking, along the road and one day a thought came to his mind that the whole world it is a rat trap 
and he was quite amused by this thought. It had never existed for any other purpose than to set baits for people. It offered riches and joys, shelter and food, heat and clothing, exactly as the rat trap offered cheese and pork. And as soon as anyone let himself be tempted to touch the bait, it closed in on him and then everything came to an end. Right, so here, saying that, he, he thought, you know, as he was walking one day, very tired, very alone, and wondering that how is he going to survive this day, a thought came to his mind. What was the thought? That this world is a rat trap. And everything that is here, okay, that is there, it is made to attract us. And we allow ourselves to fall in the rat trap, okay? Right. And so as soon as we got a chance or as soon as we are there within the trap, so just a trap close, ho jata, waise hi hum log earth ke jo luxuries hai, goods hai, riches hai, when we are attracted towards them, we become caught in the rat trap and it's difficult to come out. The world had, of course, never been very kind to him. So it gave him unwanted joy to think or ill of it in this way. Look at this. The world had, of course, never been kind to him. He had not been happy. Naturally, he did not have a good life. He did not have a home. He did not have money. So why would he think the world is a nice place? So when the thought came to him, the world is not nice, then it is not for anyone. So he felt quite happy that way. It became a cherished pastime of his during many dreary ploddings. To think of people he knew who had let themselves be caught in the dangerous snare and of others who were still circling round the bait. So what was the thought that he came to mind? How did he go from one place to another? He walked slowly because he's not in a hurry. He does not know where I have to go. He does not have any fixed destination. So he would ask the first shelter and he would, uh, you know, then the next day again, move on. And he would ask for the, uh, you know, material to make his rat tracks. He would buy some, he would steal some. Okay, so he did, he was always on the road walking very, very slowly because he's not in a hurry, plodding, walking slowly. So one day when this thought came to his mind, he felt very happy. He thought, if the world has not given me anything good, then it's absolutely fine. If someone should be in life, if I don't have anything, then the rest of us should be sad. This should be sad. And right, so he thinks this thought, look at the words over here. What is plodding? Plodding is to walk slowly. What is snare? Snare is a trap, right? Snare. So what is the trap over here? The trap is the riches, the goods, all these things. They are the snare. And of others who are still circling around the bait. So circling around, like you, you put a bait for the fish. And yes, yeah, so when it sees it, it catches it and it's caught. The rat, we put something in the trap, isn't it? Yeah, so we put uh, like, uh, yeah, you put your bread or your chapati or like here it is cheese or pork, whatever it is there to attract the rat. Once the rat is there, it's difficult for it to go out. So like that also in life also. Now what happened one day? One dark evening as he was trudging along the road, Plodding, trudging, walking slowly without any, you know, hurry at all. So one dark evening, as he was trudging along the road, he caught sight of a little grey cottage by the roadside. And he knocked on the door to ask shelter for the night. So he saw this cottage, it's got dark, he wanted shelter. Nor was he refused. Instead of the sour faces which ordinarily met him, the owner, who was an old man without wife or child, was happy to get someone to talk to in his loneliness. So otherwise, kya hota? 
there would be sad faces there would be annoyed faces what are you doing here but this time there was someone very happy and polite and uh, hospitable who was happy to have someone to talk to him because he was lonely the pedder is lonely and now his host here is also lonely immediately he put the porridge pot on the fire and gave him supper then he carved off such a big slice from his tobacco roll that it was enough for both the stranger's pipe and his own finally he got out an old pack of cards and played mjolus with his guest until bedtime so he was there you know like uh, one day as he was walking along the road it got late he knocked at a door asking for shelter to his surprise the person welcomed him and not only was happy to see him but looked after him nicely he gave him food to eat porridge he gave him a cigar right and then afterwards both of them they played a game of cards the old man was just as generous with his confidences as with his porridge and tobacco generous with his confidences confidence mari jo secret se right so the old man was telling them also jitna wo generous li apna food and tobacco share kar raha utni generous he is telling about his life it's very strange we don't talk so much with strangers isn't it right the guest was informed that at once that in his days of prosperity his host had been a crofter at rams jo iron works and had worked on the land crofter means a farmer so earlier he had been a farmer and he had worked on the land right so as we had discussed we talk about farming and mining a major part of the economy over there so pehle he crofter kya tha when he was healthy when he was young he was a farmer now that he was no longer able to do labor it was his cow which supported him so he couldn't do hard work but what did he have he had a cow and the cow was there supporting him and from the cow he was able to earn money yes that bossy was extraordinary so with the, you know what uh, affection he is calling bossy is cow she could give milk for the creamery every day and last month he had received all of 30 kroner in payment so the old man is telling about himself so where let's just revise quickly what did the peddler do what did the rat trap uh, seller maker what did he do for a living he made rat traps and how did he get the material he begged for it from the farm and all and sometimes he stole the material but he was not able to sell so many rat traps and so it was very difficult for him to keep himself alive it was difficult for him to find food and shelter and every day he would just walk and in the hope that i would be able to sell rat traps i would be able to make rat traps and earn some money for himself now he one day as he was walking along the road see he is traveling traveling on the road walking because he has no fixed place to live he is a vagabond so one day as he was walking he came across this idea what is this world like the world is a rat trap okay what is there that attracts us kya humko phasa deta rat trap mein whatever is there in the world around us things that we very fond of the joys riches comforts all this so we get caught in the rat trap and so we are stuck in it and then he thinks oh really this is a very nice thought so if i don't have money even i am unhappy so it should not be justified that people who have it they are also unhappy they are stuck in the rat trap they are circling around the bait they're going to get caught soon so one day as he was walking he had this thought and one day he asked for shelter at a house a small grey cottage and he was given permission he was welcomed the host was very nice very friendly 
took great care of him, gave him food to eat, gave him what a, a tobacco roll, a cigar to smoke, and they also played cards. Or with Nak Khushta host, he started telling everything about himself. Told him that, yes, that earlier he was a crofter. Crofter, a farmer at Ramsjo Ironworks. But now he's old, he can't do so much of hard work. So what is he doing now for a living? He has a cow. So he sells that milk, he gives the milk and the, you know, like the creamery. And last month he had received his full payment, 30 kroners. So he's quite happy right now at this moment in his life. TK, any doubts? No doubts. The stranger must have seemed incredulous. For the old man got up and went to the window. Incredulous? Usko vishwas nahi ho ra hoga, right? So usko laga ki stranger dekho kaise expression de rahe. Usko yakin nahi ho ra. For the old man got up and went to the window, took down a leather pouch which hung on a nail in the window frame and picked out three wrinkled 10 kroner bills. What is bills? The currency, the money. So he said, Ki tumhe vishwas nahi ho ra, am I lying? Look at him, so honest, so trusting. And they're showing his money to a stranger. Doesn't even know about this man, what kind of person he is. He's taken out his money from the leather pouch and showing him, let's see, you don't believe me, I have 30 kroners. These he held up before the eyes of his guest, nodding knowingly, and then stuffed them back into the pouch. So he showed his guest and then he put them back in the pouch. Right. The next day, both men got up in good season. They quite rested, happy. The crofter was in a hurry to milk his cow. And the other man probably thought he should not stay in bed when the head of the house had gotten up. So I should be a good guest. My host is awake. I should also get up. They left the cottage at the same time. The crofter locked the door and put the key in his pocket. The man with the rat trap said goodbye and thank you. And thereupon each went his own way. So he's left, he was, they wanted shelter for the night. He's gone now, right? But half an hour later, the rat trap peddler stood again before the door. He did not try to get in. However, he only went up to the window, smashed a pane, stuck in his hand and got hold of the pouch with a 30 kroner. Then he hung the, the leather pouch very carefully back in its place and went away. So he, what did he do? Right? He said thank you to his host. They started walking. And when he seen that the crotter has gone away, he's come back. What did he do? He smashed the glass, took out the pouch containing 30 kroners. Right? Now let us look at these questions. From where did the peddler get the idea of the world being a rat trap? Yes, where did the peddler get the idea of the world being a rat trap? How did he get this idea? Please tell me, someone, give me the answer. Yes. What is the answer? How did he get this idea of the world being a rat trap? So as he was walking along the road and a thought came to his mind that just like he makes rat trap and people, they put bait for the rat like that. The world is also a rat trap with its riches, its luxuries, its joys, comforts. We are in the rat trap right now. We are stuck in the rat trap, okay? Because uh, we are there, of course, attracted to all the worldly goods. We want more. And we're never satisfied. So we are there stuck nicely in the rat trap. Why was he amused by this idea? Yes. Why was he amused by this idea? So I, I think none of you are going to give the answer. Ma'am, aap hi answer do. Hum to is waqt sun bhi nahi Is it? This is what is happening? Yes. I know your secrets. So why was he amused by this idea? He was amused because he thought that if I am 
unhappy being out of the rat trap. I, I don't have any riches, nothing which is going to make me a part of uh, this, you know, like uh, uh, getting stuck in the rat trap. So others who are there are going to be, they are going to fall in the trap. So it made him very happy. So if I'm not happy being outside, others are unhappy being inside the rat trap. Okay, now did the peddler expect the kind of hospitality that he received from the crofter? Did he expect that kind of uh, hospitality? He was very surprised. He did not uh, realize that uh, he would be getting uh, you know, this uh, reaction or this kind of a response because uh, earlier what is there happening, wherever he went, he was welcomed uh, or rather he was sent away. But this time, he was not only welcomed, but he was given food and, of course, uh, you know, a very nice treatment by his host. Why was the crofter so talkative and friendly with the peddler? Why do you think he was so talkative? There's one thing that is common between them, the crofter and the tramp. That is their loneliness. So the crofter is alone. And uh, he, earlier he was strong and healthy and he would work on the land, but now he cannot. So he is there, he has a cow and he sells the milk, right? So because of his loneliness, he wanted to talk to someone. And uh, yes, so he did not have anybody to talk and tell about his life. So he's happy to have company. Why did he show the 30 krona to the peddler? Why did he show the 30 krona? Because he thought the man is not believing him. Like that I have money. He thinks, you know, uh, I'm lying. He does not believe him. So that is why he took out the money from the pouch and showed him. Which was, of course, a wrong thing for the crofter to do. He should not have done that. Now, did the peddler respect the confidence reposed in him by the crofter? Did he respect that confidence? He's shown him so many things and all. So has he respected that? No, he has not respected that, right? And uh, in fact, uh, he just uh, stole the money and went away, right? So he did not respect the confidence that was shown to him. So we continue. What has happened? The peddler has stolen the money. Has he fallen in the rat trap now? Has the peddler fallen in the rat trap? Yes, he has. He has money now. Let's see what is going to happen. As he walked along with the money in his pocket, he felt quite pleased with his smartness. Who was pleased with his smartness? The peddler. He realized, of course, that at first he dared not continue on the public highway but must turn off the road into the woods. During the first hours, this caused him no difficulty. Later in the day, it became worse, for it was a big and confusing forest which he had gotten into. He tried to be sure to walk in a definite direction, but the path twisted back and forth so strangely. He walked and walked without coming to the end of the wood. And finally, he realized that he had only been walking around in the same part of the forest. All at once, he recalled. His thoughts about the world and the rat trap. Now his own turn had come. He had let himself be fooled by a bait and had been caught. The whole forest with its trunks and branches, its thickets and fallen logs closed in upon him like an impenetrable prison from which he could never escape. Ab kya ho gaya peddler ke saath? He did not go along the road. He did not walk on the highway because he has stolen money. Right? And uh, yes, so he has cheated that man who was so nice to him. How did he repay his kindness? By stealing the money. Very bad thing to do. Then 
he walked into the forest right and uh, yes so first uh, like initially he did not have any problem but later on as he was in the forest as he was walking and he was trying to get out of the forest he could not find a way he was stuck he thought this path would take me out or that path would take me out but nothing happened and he was just walking round and round now this is at this moment he realizes he is caught in the rat trap and this is how it feels to be caught in the rat trap early he had no worries he had no money he didn't uh, bother about where he was going or how he was you know like uh, treated but now he has stolen the money he's scared people might come after him and if people hear about the theft yes yeah, so they he might not get shelter at any other place and somebody might steal that money from him so he is now in so many things so one incident has created so many problems for him okay right so he and he realized he's gone into the forest but he is not able to come out of it to ye experience kaisa tha similar to being caught in the rat trap is a rat aa jata hai trap mein and you are trying to catch hold of the bait but unable to get out of it okay yeah so the whole forest it was a dense forest with its branches and all the dense uh, you can say growth over there kaisa tha prison it was an impenetrable prison from which he could never escape so he could never come out of that prison he felt he stuck over there he can't he will not be able to come out of it so he is quite uh, disturbed he is quite worried and he has this experience that now i am caught in the trap okay right so we'll pause here and we continue tomorrow